morning all hope everybody doing good in our last video we discussed about the basic definitions useful for the magnetic circuit in this video i am going to explain about the self inductor as we know that the main object of the magnetic circuit is to produce is to produce magnetic flux by the coils okay so that is the main inductor the element which is used for that one is inductor inductor is also a conductor which is wound in the shape of coil to produce magnetic field flux that is the definition of the inductor okay so for that one i am going to explain the properties with respect to faraday's law okay the faraday's law the first law is the generating principle okay that is alternating motion between the flux and conductor will give us an emf in the conductor that is we have a two quantities that is flux and second quantity is conductor okay alternating motion either if flux is rotating means conductor has to be standstill if conductor is rotating means flux has to be standstill that is what the alternating motion the alternating motion between the flux and conductor will give us an emf in the conductor so if that is be the condition emf will be comes in the conductor that is the states with the faraday first law and the second law states that the amount of emf is directly proportional to the rate of change of flux linkage that is if n number of i mean if m number of turns are there in a coil okay so the amount of emf is directly proportional to n d pi by dt the rate of change of flux linkage okay the negative sign is came because of the lenz law the lenz law states that okay the generated quantity always opposes the cause for its generation that is the generated quantity is emf the cause for its generation is flux so always emf opposes the flux so that i am placing negative sign over here okay because of that one the emf generated is classified into two things self induced emf and mutual induced emf okay the faraday said that the emf it is inducing okay that is that emf is classified into two things self and mutual the self induced emf means the name itself it is saying self okay because of we have a coil 1 okay the current flowing to the coil 1 has to produce emf in the coil 1 itself means we are calling that as a self induced emf because of the current flowing in coil 1 causes the emf generation in the coil 2 is called as a mutual induced emf i repeat because of the current flowing through coil 1 causes to produce emf in coil 1 itself means self induced emf because of the current flowing through coil 1 has to cause the emf generation in the coil 2 is called as the mutual induced emf the self inductance our objective is to find what is be the value of self inductance so the self inductance because of its relates to the voltage induced in a coil by a time varying current in a same coil okay self means because of the voltage voltage generated by the current flowing through the same coil that is what i represented with a basic diagram i of t is the current time varying current which is flowing through this coil okay because of that current flowing the flux is generating the generated flux is leads to produce is leads to produce potential across its terminals okay and as we know that from the faraday second law the voltage rs the emf induced v equals to n d phi by dt okay i am rewriting d phi by dt as d phi by di into di by dt okay i am just rewriting the d phi by dt into d phi by di into di by dt so from that one i am writing v equals to n d phi by di into di by dt okay so that i am writing v as l the l is the term self inductance l is the term i represented with n d phi by di in the place of n d phi by di i am writing l so that v equals to l di by dt so the definition of the self inductance is n d phi by di okay the units of the self inductance are as inductance is henry's the definition i mean we can make the derivation for the self inductance of a coil e equals to as we know that e equals to minus n d phi by dt the flux as the definition of the flux is 
flux density into area we can write and we know that the we know that the flux density we we are writing as a mu into magnetic flux strength that is permeability into magnetic flux strength magnetic field strength u h m so i am writing h s n i by l as we know the definition of the magnetic field strength h equals to n i by l okay so from that one mu n a by l into i okay so that is what i did i came the derivation for magnetic flux phi so flux i can represent as a mu n a i by l into mu n a by l into i okay so the emf e equals to minus n d by dt of phi the value of phi i am substituting as mu n a mu n a by l into i so from that one if i derivate if i n came out means minus n square that is mu n square a by l into d i by dt so i am writing l as minus l as we know that e equals to minus l d i by dt okay v equals to minus sorry v equals to l d i by dt so the value of self inductance we are writing from the terminology is v equals to n square a by l okay so this is the formula for the self inductance of a coil we can write n d phi by n d i by d we can write self inductance as a n d phi by d i or else l equals to mu n square a by l okay so i am writing for the how, how can represent with the those things okay so d phi i am writing as a mu n a l into d i d phi by d i equals to mu n a a by l okay if i multiply with n d phi by dt mu n square a by l that is what l that is the derivation what we done so far okay and d phi by for a linear relation if we have a relation with the flux and current as a linear relationship we can write d phi by d i as phi by i we can represent l as n phi by i entries okay or else as we from the previous derivation we l we can derive it as a mu n square a by l okay so if i write n square in the numerator l by mu a because the definition of the reluctance is l by mu a so the inductance we can represent as n square by reluctance or else the reluctance we can represent as l by sorry as we know that the reluctance definition is l by mu a so the self inductance have a, we derived the three different formulas the first one is l equals to n d phi by d i or else n d n phi by i if we have a linear relation okay and the second one is l equals to mu n square a by l okay l equals to mu n square a by l and another one is l equals to n square by reluctance hope you if you remember these three things we can solve the any kind of the problems given for the self inductance thank you guys